Congress must take urgent action to prohibit the discriminatory deployment of broadband by internet service providers based on income level of an area, the predominant race or ethnicity composition of an area, or other focus. And I will continue to prioritize the critical issue of digital redlining and will commit to working with my colleagues to draft legislation to address it. You know, the COVID-19 pandemic has only underscored the fact with rapid adoption of the virtual space that high-speed affordable broadband is a critical resource. It is a necessity and not a luxury. And it is our job as Congress to remove the barriers to equitable access. So Mr. Lewis, I'd like to ask you, your testimony outlines the many ways in which broadband has proven to be an essential utility, like water and electricity. We are proud of the inclusion of the internet as a utility in the CARES Act and the FCC's recently launched EBB program. However, these are temporary solutions as the American people continue to recover from the coronavirus pandemic. How can the federal government establish a long-term policy for ensuring equity access to affordable and high-speed broadband? Well, we need to learn from the past as we did with telecommunications uh, for the phone. We need to have a long-term uh, uh, benefit for low-income consumers uh, to have uh, support to uh, be able to afford broadband. Um, uh, hopefully that will meet the price that uh, is coming from the industry, but we also need to study those prices to make sure that those prices are competitive and not monopoly prices. Very well. 